What is the worst part about being a fat person? Always being aware of how much space you take up. Many years ago I was at a baseball game at Wrigley Field with my girlfriend. We were sitting in these two seats and there were two large gentlemen sitting in the two seats next to us. To their right the seats were all taken, and to our left the rest of the row was empty. One of the guys turned to me and said hi, me and my friend are ump fat. Would you two mind moving down a few seats? What could I say? I said, sure, laughed, and moved down. It reminded me of the skit by Lowey Anderson, when he says something about thinking fat people don't know they are fat. My wife was on a small plane jumping islands in Hawaii and a group of Samoans, huge guys, boarded and went to their seats. Before to key off the captain came out and said in a light tone can I get you guys to spread out a little or we may just end up going in circles. They broke out laughing as they realized they were all grouped on one side of the plane. Feeling and knowing you're fat and being very embarrassed about it. Also, knowing that your biggest insecurity will be apparent to anyone you meet almost instantly. Literally everyone else gets to hide their business for at least a little while I roll. Can't cover it up for an interview or first date or some shit. An all day, everyday kind of thing with me. I just push it to the back of my mind until it festers into a mental illness. Something that has helped me deal with it is my own version of self-acceptance. To me it does not mean that I'm fat and that's great. I know it's unhealthy and I'm slash will continue working on it. Having said that, this is the shape I'm in right now and that is okay. Take steps towards your goal but also be okay with who you are today. It's like if you want to pay off student loans. Yeah it's a pain. Yeah you want to be done with it. Get a job. Make a plan. Work towards your goals. But that doesn't mean you have to hate yourself right now and live below poverty levels or some shit like that. It is okay to be in debt. Accept that and make a plan to get out of it. Feeling guilty while eating your favorite foods. Not looking good in photos slash clothes. Me and my wife got our wedding photos back. Looked at them for maybe 20 seconds and instantly took out the USB and put it in the junk drawer. None of the photos we took look good and we hate it because we want to share that day so bad with our friends and family and to hand out copies to for people's fridges. But we hate the way we look and it's the only bad part of the happiest day of our lives. That breaks my heart. But the people who love you know exactly what you look like and that doesn't affect their love. Hopefully many of them were there with you on your wedding day and would love a little memento on their fridge. Turn the situation around. Would you appreciate a photo of the many less because of some physical imperfection? Pool parties. Also one of the worst parts about having body acne. I used to have horrible cystic acne on my back. Luckily not on my face, so I was thankful for that. But yay shirts and skins I was praying to be shirts. Had an uncle that was rather large and he would always rip his shirt off and yell out time to let the fat fly and if you don't like it don't look at it seeing that as a chubby kid gave me a more self positive outlook on my body image. The fucking shirt pull, you know what I'm talking about, edit, to all of you out there, I promise you you are loved and appreciated. I'm glad to know I'm not alone in this. I fucking hate the shirt pull. Especially when it's a shirt that you didn't have to pull a month ago. Or the pillow hug when you're sitting on a couch. This guy fats. Feeling okayish about the way you look or feel and then seeing yourself in a picture and going into a spiral of depression for the next three weeks. I understand this feeling very well. I dislike looking in the mirror because of that. Ah see I see the same person I've always seen in the mirror than in pics like who tf is that fatty. My going to the gym has been based on how I feel about my selfie that day. I've been hitting the gym a lot lately lol. When I lost weight I discovered that people seemed way more nice to me and seemed to approach me as being more intelligent or valued than before. Can confirm. I lost 130 pounds in one year in high school. People really treat you different in a positive sense. I still remember this one kid at my high school, was the fat kid through junior year then over the summer, lost a ton of weight, and they still picked on him asking him if his parents sent him to fat camp. It's been like 20 years, but I hope he's okay. He probably had a great time in college. Nobody knew who he was in high school, and he was just a normal not fat dude. Even if people from his high school went to the same college, I can't see how they would bring that along. What are they going to do? 
Tell people though, Tim used to be so fat, had her I bet he went to fat camp, people in college will be like so, good for him. Unless easy access to beer and junk food made him gain it all back. My belt trying to stab me in my belly when I sit down. Putting on a shirt, walking into the back room, seeing how it makes me look, and then never pulling out my favorite shirt ever again. I gained a lot of weight 5 how years ago and have had this toxic relationship with myself where I always tell myself that I'll be back to my regular size in a couple of months. As a result, I barely have any clothes because I think it would be wasteful to buy such large sizes. Not the worst part, but the most constantly shitty part is constantly being called big guy by every kind of person other than other big guys. I run a meat department. A number of customers over the years will take my suggestions with the comment you look like you know what's good. I know they aren't trying to be assholes, but I still need to go in the back to cool off after. Luckily for a butcher, the back has sides of beef for you to battle boa your anger out on. Having an ache in your arm or chest and not knowing if it's posture or your heart finally packing in. To be fair this also applies to me and I'm not fat, I'm just convinced all my internals are on their way out already. Um fair word, anytime I feel anything too out of the ordinary I basically go HMM so today's the day how um fair. This was strangely comforting to know this many people have the same anxieties as I do lol. Nothing seems to fit nicely or still look nice in your size. And when it does look nice from the front, you turn sideways. Holy shit, I just woke up to 5000 plus upvotes. Nap, it's when you see the back of yourself in the background of a photo. Holy fuck. The worst for me is seeing yourself on your indoor bell camera. Ugh. Cutting your toenails sucks ass. And tying your shoes. So does shaving your lower half. Asking for a extender for an airline seat. Then the folks expression when I stop at their O. Equally tough was a far casually walking down the aisle with an extender only to stop, look at me, and say were you the one that requested this? I was already buckled without an extender, but I guess I looked fat enough to make them wonder. A real eye opener to how people must see me. Lying about being hungry, so people don't think of course the fat ass is fucking hungry. I worked with a guy who was about 550 lbs. One our co-workers asked him one day. I never see you eat? The reply. Dude, look at me, I'm an eating machine. I'm a fat man. I never eat lunch or breakfast. I absolutely love dinner foods, what can I say? Sweating. In my 20s, I was a fat kid playing basketball with my friend. 90 degrees. I was drenched. He didn't even break a sweat. I'm surprised I had to scroll this far for this one. It's my biggest insecurity. I sweat but mostly in my face and head, so that it runs down my neck. It takes very little exertion too. Just the sheer amount of room fatness takes up in your brain. You're either thinking about it, or being reminded of it by your clothes, social situation, available space, etc. It's exhausting. This was, it's, always the worst for me. It's like 90% of my day. What am I eating, wearing? How could I fit in exercise? What will I eat next? Is that person looking at me because I'm fat? Why am I so worthless? I wish I was more motivated. Constant in some form or another, even now that I'm a lot smaller, it's still there. I fucking hate it. Then I get stressed about overthinking it, hate myself for being fat, then go and eat, because I enjoy eating tasty food, and it makes me feel better. All the while screaming at myself in my own head that I don't need to be eating right now. And then it starts over again. The end. Thanks for watching.